Hello guys, welcome to eMini project. In this mini project, we'll program a Raspberry Pi to send tweets. So let's get started. The first step in this mini project is to register your app with apps.twitter.com. Just open that web page, click on create new app and give it some uh, random name. Let's call it uh, rasp underscore pi. Put some random description and you'll also be required to put up a website. But as this is a test application, I'm just giving it uh, HTTP uh, google.com. Now scroll down uh, on that page and click on create your Twitter application and you should get a successful message of application being created. Next step in this module project is to note down 4 important keys. Click on keys and access token bar, note down your consumer key and consumer secret key. Scroll down, click on create my access token, you should get a notification saying successful creation of the token and note down your access token and access token secret keys. Now get your Raspberry Pi, insert your SD card with Raspbian installed in it. Connect your Ethernet cable uh, to your Raspberry Pi and make sure that your Raspberry Pi and your uh, PC or laptop through which you'll be accessing Raspberry Pi is on the same network. And finally, power on your Raspberry Pi. To remote log on our Raspberry Pi, first we need its IP address. Type sudo nmap sn uh, your network address, address and asterisk at the end on the Linux terminal. This should give you the list of all the devices on your network. Just note down the one with Raspberry Pi Foundation. Next step is to install Python on Raspberry Pi. Python is a Python package of Twitter APIs. First, remote login into your Raspberry Pi using SecureCell. Next step is to uh, update the list of available packages and their version using sudo apt-get update. It takes a while to update the list of available packages, uh, but after it's done, uh, next step is to install python uh, package manager that is python pip to do that type sudo apt-get install python hyphen pip uh, and uh, as you can see i have already installed it uh, in my system so it just says uh, python pip is already in uh, newest version next step is to install uh, python package to do that type sudo sudo pip install Python and I have already installed this in my system so it won't do anything but in your case it will do all the steps if you are behind any uh, system that uh, network that uses proxy you can also use hyphen e and uh, that's it to install a uh, Python package finally let's write Python code to send tweets first create a directory named tweet using command mkdir tweet then get inside this uh, directory using cd tweet. Uh, first initialize, uh, we'll, we'll write a script to initialize our uh, four variables using four keys that you obtained in step two. To do that, type nano keys.python. Uh, now, uh, in this file, I have already uh, defined our four variables with my keys, but I don't want you guys to see these keys. So I'm defining another file called demo uh, keys. And the way I have initialized my variables in the uh, file keys is I will initialize variable called c underscore key, c underscore secret, a underscore token, a underscore secret with uh, keys and uh, wrote them in between those uh, double quotes. And as you can see, I have two files in my folder. Now we'll uh, write the Python code to send the tweet. First, import uh, Python class from Python package. Uh, next, uh, write command to execute keys.python file. Uh, this will initialize uh, our uh, four variables. Next, create uh, my tweet object uh, using constructor of Python class and uh, pass four key uh, variables uh, to this uh, constructor. Now, sending tweets uh, is called updating status. So, we'll write my tweet dot update underscore status and we'll uh, inside the braces we'll write status is equal to uh, I would like to thank my subscribers for uh, making this channel great and you can send in tweet but I'll say thank you subscribers and we'll save this file by pressing ctrl x and enter after that to execute this script type python send tweet dot py it will take a while but in a second in my chrome browser you'll see Thank you subscribers so that's it for this video thank you for a valuable time 
if you like this video please subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next video till then take care